The process starts with the production of these 42 tonne coils of zinc. The zinc arrives at the factory in the form of thick plates, which are almost 100% zinc. The plates are loaded into a furnace, where the temperature reaches 400 degrees Celsius. Some copper and titanium is also added to reinforce the zinc. Once melted, the molten zinc flows to the casting machine. On its way, residues such as ashes float to the top of the metal and are then skimmed off. A floating puck monitors the speed and depth of the zinc blend to prevent overflow. Once at the casting machine, it flows onto a metre-wide piece of steel that slowly unwinds. The steel acts as a mould to form the zinc into a long sheet of metal. Water flows onto the zinc to accelerate cooling and solidification. Since water and liquid zinc don't mix, the water simply runs off the surface. This now solid zinc plate is almost a centimetre thick, but is far too thick for making lightweight rain gutters, so it needs to be dramatically reduced. Which is where this powerful rolling mill comes in. The pressure on its rollers is so great, they have to be replaced often. First, the new rollers are heated up, and then they're activated. As they revolve, the hot rollers exert 7,000 tonnes of pressure to reduce the thickness of the zinc. The zinc then passes through a steel belt tensioning system. This system prevents slackening in the zinc sheet as it exits the rolling mill and continues along the production line. You can see the difference the rolling mill has made. It's reduced the thickness of the zinc sheet to about three quarters of a millimetre. The steel belt system maintains the tension in the zinc sheet as it's wound around a core. This produces the 42-tonne coil of zinc we saw earlier, and it's known as the mother coil. Approximately 40 kilometres of guttering can be made from one coil. Each mother coil is cut into three that are a third of a metre wide. The zinc is now the correct width to be formed, and the factory can now produce the rain gutters. First, a crane lifts one of the narrower coils across the factory so that it can be moved into position to begin making the zinc gutters. The coil is first mounted to a machine that will cut the zinc into uniform four metre long strips. An overhead mirror provides a top view to check that the coil is unwinding correctly. As the zinc passes through the machine, a blade quickly guillotines it into the correct lengths. The zinc strips then travel through a progressively narrower channel over a cylinder, creating the U-shape of the gutter. More rollers refine the shape and also curl the edges of the gutters to reinforce them. This gives the zinc rain gutters their final shape. The automated profiler ejects the four metre long gutters onto a rack that then tips each gutter onto a stack. These zinc rain gutters are ready to hang. On site they'll be soldered together and attached to the roof with special brackets. And now the zinc gutters are finished, I do hope this item hasn't been too much of a drain on you.